Hello! In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create your own pacifier clip with just a few supplies from the craft store. So let's get started! The supplies you're going to need for this DIY are 1 inch wide ribbon. You'll also need a suspender clip or a mitten clip that has a 1 inch wide end so that you could sew your ribbon onto it. You will need matching thread. You're also going to need some sew-in Velcro, scissors, and a measuring tape, and of course the sewing machine, which is not shown. Okay, let's get started. So first thing we gotta do is measure our ribbon. For my clip, what I did was I cut a piece of ribbon that was 10 inches long. All right, for the next step, we're going to figure out how much ribbon we wanna have folded over the mitten clip or suspender clip and we also want to figure out how much velcro we're going to need in order to have the ribbon be able to fold over the pacifier handle. So go ahead and fold over the end of the ribbon about a quarter inch and fold that end over the metal part of the mitten slash suspender clip and what we're going to do is we're going to go take that to the machine and we're going to stitch along the top of the ribbon there where the fold is as close to it as possible so that we encase that end of the ribbon under the fold there if the, I hope that makes sense um, and you can also hand stitch it if you don't have a machine I prefer sewing anything I can on the machine because it is just so quick and easy but feel free to hand sew if you want to all right <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. So, the next part, like I said, is the Velcro. You just cut a small piece off, and then go ahead and match that piece with the other half of the Velcro, so that you have two pieces that are the same. Attach one to the end, the other end of the ribbon. You can use fray check on that side if you want to keep the ribbon from unraveling. Or you could just fold it over like you did the other side and then put the Velcro on top of that and stitch it down. It won't pop open because we're going to have the Velcro there. So it's going to cover most of that end anyways. So here I am just folding over and pinning down that end where I just applied the fray check. That's optional. And I'm putting the Velcro kind of where it needs to be to cover it. You have the top portion of the Velcro in place. Go ahead and fold over the ribbon slightly so that you can figure out where you need to have the second half of the Velcro and pin it down. When you have both pieces pinned down, go ahead and take your pacifier clip to your machine and stitch down those velcro pieces. As I mentioned, you can also hand stitch these down if you want. Just make sure you stitch them very well so that the velcro doesn't lift off of the ribbon when you open and close it. After you have all your velcro sewn on, you're done. That's it. Quick and easy, right? Thank you for watching my video tutorial. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to check out my channel with my other DIYs. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.